Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 worst punishments in ancient Rome throughout history. There's, there's been a few, there's been a few punishments. Here we go. Starting our list off at number 10, crucifixion. Most of the time when it came to crucifixion, the accused would be tied to their crosses, right? They weren't always nailed to it. And there's a bizarre reason why that was done. It was a Roman practice for some to be nailed. That's true, of course, but it's next to impossible to find any remains from these ancient punishments because the nails of the crucified victims were looked at as powerful powerful charms, or an amulet, almost. I don't know. Again, this was the ancient world, so they loved harming others, but then they also believed in good luck and, and good karma at the same time, so you're like, Okay, sure. Some believe that they had healing properties, which is ironic considering what act they just performed with said nail. Know what I mean? It's like, hey, where'd you get that one from? Uh, that guy's arm, actually. Yeah, it's nice. In 1968, a team of builders were laying foundation for a new suburb in northern Jerusalem. Now, while digging, they found the remains of a foot with a nail still in it, still in the bone. Jehohanan was the first victim of crucifixion ever found in Israel. This was an important find. Now, the reason the nail was left in, well, experts get Yes, is because the nail was bent at the tip and nobody could get it out, which is horrible. Imagine seeing that scene. Ugh. Number nine, Dimnatio ad Bastias. Also known as killing by wild animals, this was a form of Roman capital punishment in which the accused was, well, you guessed, killed by wild animals in an arena. Now you may be thinking about gladiator at this point. This was a little different. This was about 80 years before that. The gladiators, they could defend themselves to some degree, but you know, those meeting their fate with this method, they were defenseless. They were tied to one spot or they were given a small weapon made of wood. It was an insult, really. This form of punishment was seen in ancient Rome starting around the second century BC. 80 years later, the Colosseum saw a similar practice, only then it was, you know, UFC. It was this big Colosseum, it was a public viewing, and they could fight back with tridents or nets, which I guess helps. I don't know, not really. Number eight, boat. Death by boat. What does that even mean? I don't even want to know what this is. Here we go. First described by Plutarch as a Persian torture technique, the accused, in this case, in the boat case, was stripped completely naked and then tied to two different boats. Now at this point, I'd already be unconscious. This is terrifying. The guilty was forced to drink milk and honey in large quantities until they were extremely ill. Now at this point, they would be bad enough to be on a boat in the hot sun, sick to your stomach, naked, but no. They just had to get a little more creative, right? At this point, honey was then spread on your actual body and then you were sent out in the middle of the water. Exposed to intense heat, insects that drank your blood, you would die of dehydration, hunger, or septic shock. All terrible ways ways to go individually, let alone all that happening to you at the same time while strapped to a boat. Let's move on before I'm sick. Number seven, peeling. This is the shortest one on our list here today and well, that's because there's not quite much to say about it. Peeling, just kind of like how you peel an orange, but instead, a person. Yeah, brutal, right? Hit that thumbs up for brutality. You wanted this, that's why you clicked it. Used by the Assyrians and then later by the Romans, those fancy Romans, the victim in this case was covered in hot water. Already a bad start. And then some monster would then take a blade, start out of your feet, and then slowly and surely just take little bits of you away. Now death, of course, depended on how much skin was removed and how extensive the wounds were. So it wasn't the same every time. Sometimes it was fast and other times it was really, really slow, which is horrible. Either way, come on, what is this, Game of Thrones? How do you do this to a person? Number six, the bronze bull. Romans used this type of punishment and Saint Eustache was baked apparently in a bronze bull with his wife, all under the command of Emperor Hadrian. Now, however, the Catholic Church considers these stories to be completely untrue. So that little breath that you just did, it's okay, you can release that now. The odds that this one actually happened are quite slim. But then again, after that boat thing, who knows? It's worth mentioning, it probably happened once or twice. Because a very similar fate happened to Antipas of Pergamon during the persecution of Domitian in 92 AD. The bull was also used in 287 AD during Emperor Diocletian at the Pelagia of Tarsus. Now, did they bake anybody? Let's hope not, but they found one there, so I don't know. There's a lot of room on the inside, if you know what I'm saying. Number five, the breaking wheel. Origins in Greece, but Rome still fancied a wheel or two, apparently. This method is a little much. Again, after what I've just said, you're like, really? This is weirdly the worst for me, I don't know. A naked victim, naked, right off the bat, always naked. Why is everyone always naked? Can we just like have a guy with jeans on for like one show? The victim with widely spaced limbs was tied to a metal ring, a wheel, some would say, sure. Then the executioner, this big guy who you don't wanna meet, he would come in and crush your body with a club, which, you know, the edges were covered with metal. 
shovel. Uh, a big hammer, really, that's what you can call it. Now, after crushing the limbs, the victim was placed in an upright position, okay? And then at that point, folks would watch. No one was working back then. Folks would just hang out and watch all day as birds would consume what is left. Yeah, again, welcome to the ancient times. I'm gonna go throw up now. Number four, heel hauling. As somebody who is not a fan of water at all, this was a type of punishment that I can't even imagine. No, it sounds like something from Game of Thrones. It can vary depending on how bad the ocean is. Imagine that as a lead up. Yeah, the ocean's bad, so should be pretty bad today. You're like, oh no, what's gonna happen? This punishment was reserved, of course, as you guessed, for sailors. Sailors at sea, a couple of naughty mateys. Now, it was first performed by the Dutch Navy in the late 16th century, but again, origins go all the way back to Rome because, you know, they're the OG, the, o the OG beaters, I guess. And what would happen was the accused were tied with rope and then dragged underwater from one end of the ship to the other. While many died or drowned, obviously, being flossed around a pirate ship covered in barnacles, it wasn't always fatal, which makes this worse somehow. I don't know. I don't want to live after that. Not always, but a good amount of time. It was probably the end of your line. Number three, strapado. Strapado sounds like an Italian artist, but it's definitely not. Don't try and look this one up on Google. You won't like it. It's creative, I'll admit, but all in the worst ways. It's an uncomfortable form of punishment. Unlike others on this list, it doesn't end in death, purposely. In strapado, the guilty is strung up by the wrists behind the head. Now, at first, it doesn't sound that bad, but of course, it gets a little worse. The awkward angle at this point is pretty much guaranteed to cause dislocation of the shoulders, but if it doesn't do anything that's too bad, weights would be added. So then something would break, something would be out of place, and then you'd be broken for the rest of your life, which in my opinion is way worse than a death, a fast death. I'd rather that for sure. Number two, sawing. Sawing, yeah, like, uh, like in the Terrifier. You ever seen that movie? It's kind of like that. Mostly seen in Rome, Spain, and some portions of Asia. Yeah, popular one this one was. It was pretty straightforward. You can imagine this one, what it would entail. Capital punishment at its cruelest, getting sawed in half. Again, to the public. Yeah, that's a fact that we don't really like to put in there. All these are public. People like to come out and watch this happen. Disgusting. Another fact that some folk don't realize, this one sent shivers down my spine, but sometimes the sawing was done from top to bottom, not side to side. It's almost impressive, right? It's like cutting a carrot vertically. It's like rolling around. You're like, huh, it's a little awkward, but we got it done. Yeah, except a person with bones and a soul. And finally, number one, the wooden horse. Yeehaw, we'll end on this one. This is pretty bad. Also, hit that thumbs up and hit subscribe. You've made it this far. You're gonna love what we have on our channel because honestly, what are you doing here? This is some pretty dark content. This device was used all through history and different variations of it existed at different times throughout different parts of the world because the general concept was the same. It was a punishment meant to inflict a great deal of pain to the, you know, down areas. The device was a wooden block, sort of, normally in the shape of a triangle with a point at the top, a very sharp, very sanded point right at the top there. That's where, you, that's where you'd have to sit, right there in that little triangle of death. Whoever was having the pain inflicted upon them would be tied up and then placed onto this block with a leg on either side, almost like a horse. From there, they would have weights tied to their legs in order to slowly lower them further and further onto this already very uncomfortable block. In later years, post-Roman times, the punishment would be inflicted at the same time as the person was being paraded throughout town. Again, another public event. I can't even watch UFC. I can't watch a guy perform an armbar, let alone watch this. Are you kidding me? No, I'm gonna throw up. Those are the top 10 worst punishments in ancient Rome throughout history. There's many other eras and I'll probably talk about a couple more. So subscribe, take your jacket off, stay a while. I'm Taylor McWaters and we'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Bye. Uh, can we make it a little bigger? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just uh, squinting a little bit here, sorry. Hate to be picky, but oh, perfect. That's so good. Thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> Gotta wet my little whistle. Mm -mm -mm. Jeremy, what's up, dude? How are we doing? Chillin', man. How are you? Chillin'? You're like taking over? This is... Is Chris like dead? Is he good? Yeah, it's food poisoning. Food po... That's horrible. The bull was also used in 287 AD during Emperor... Diocletian? Diocletian. Uh, but, but, but. 